Ahoy hoy, and welcome back to the channel. I don't even, I had some plans for what I was going to do today in a video, but then I spent all yesterday, instead of preparing for the video, just watching what was happening in the U.S. Capitol. So, <laughs> my my mind has been a bit distracted, and I thought to myself, uh, ooh, then as the day's video got closer and closer to needing to be made, I was like, what am I going to do? And then I realized that Donald Trump is actually an SCP. Technically, he's not. Technically, something else is an SCP. And he's being used to contain that other thing. But I think, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. So, today, we're going to talk about how you're wrong about SCP-5004. So, SCP-5004 was written originally by DJ Cactus. And I'm going to give you the... Uh, short summary version today. So how did Donald Trump end up in an SCP article? Well, to be fair, uh, SCP articles contain lots of stuff about lots of people. So it's not outside the realm of possibility that he would show up in one. But what has happened here is DJ Cactus, being the brilliant writer that he is, has created a bit of a shared universe of presidential SCP stuff just between two articles. But those two are, and there may be more, but I know the two articles in particular. These two articles are massively long, at least short story length. Uh, maybe even if you combine them together, novella length. Uh, and the first one is SCP-444. SCP-444, I believe, was a contest earned due to the 4000 contest. Could be wrong. I think, actually, no, for sure it was. Um, and SCP-444 is Al Gore. Uh, and the name of that one is Bush v. Gore. And so it kind of sets up the SCP Foundation and George Bush uh, as a clone of Bright, sort of. Uh, and that sort of sets up the SCP Foundation to be really well integrated into the politics of the U.S. Uh, at the U.S. Capitol. And then SCP-5004 is, I'm going to read it exactly here, and then I'm going to tell you what the hell this means. Because <laughs> this is a very long, very complex sentence. SCP-5004-A is a colossal thaumatological entity identified as Suspira Prime by the Federal Bureau of Investigation Unusual Incident Unit and self-titled as Old Gorman, which was risked ritualistically summoned to the material plane by U.S. Supreme Court Justice and noted sorcerer Charles Evan Hughes during the U.S. general election of 1916. The supposed intent of this summoning was, to, that's one sentence by the way, <laughs> so the intent of the summoning was to aid Justice Hughes in his campaign against incumbent President Woodrow Wilson. However, this effort was in vain as SCP-5004-A was originally too weak to take any action that could have aided the Republican candidate. After his eventual loss to Wilson, Hughes, either unknowingly or out of spite, altered the conditions of his ritual in such a way that changed SCP-5004-A's stated intentions, leaving the entity to sleep for a hundred years before awakening. So, the concept here is very simple. Essentially, <laughs> a man uh, <laughs> summoned a demon, essentially, to help him win a presidential election in 1916. And when it failed to help him, because it wasn't strong enough when it was initially summoned, he imprisoned it underneath the Capitol for a hundred years. Now, this normally wouldn't be such a big deal, but this entity feeds on chaos and strife. And if you can think of a place in the world that's got more chaos going on than the U.S. Capitol, well, there's probably a few, but not on such a consistent scale over the last hundred years, to be honest with you. Like it's constant every day, day in and day out versus maybe a war here and a war there. Like it's bad <laughs> and it's just gotten worse over the last uh, 20 ish so years. I mean, it's been always been bad, but it's gotten worse for the last 20 years. So that chaos and strife has fed this demon for a hundred years. And in 2016, it was plan It was going to get out. Now, there's a subplot in this SCP in 5004. Um, actually, there's a couple of subplots. But the important things are basically that um, the Supreme Court justices are wizards. Specifically, I believe the most powerful wizard on the Supreme Court at the time of the writing uh, was Ruth Bader Ginsburg, <laughs> uh, who was tasked on numerous occasions to fight with old Gorman and eventually managed to keep to uh, imprison him back underneath the uh, 
underneath the Capitol. But the other half of this is, what does any of this have to do with Donald Trump? Well, you know, the timing is perfect. It's 2016. And as it turns out, there were three, um, there were three reality sinks in the world at the time that was that were known. And these are people who just by their existence and uh, proximity can like drain reality warping powers from other entities. And one of them is Dr. Clef, which is actually pretty well supported in many tales and canons, although in a few Dr. Clef's just a regular guy. Um, some child that was incapable of, you know, being used for this purpose. And apparently Donald Trump. Donald Trump apparently makes it impossible for reality warpers to work around him. And so the SCP Foundation figures that, hey, why don't we get Donald Trump elected in 2016 so that when old Gorman awakens, he won't be able to actually escape and do any damage because his reality warping powers will be limited. And, uh, and it works, I guess. So the SCP Foundation keeps doing things that nobody thinks will work to get him reelected, to get him elected. And then it turns out that like, they didn't need to do shit. He just his just once they pushed him into actually running the bull crap that he was doing naturally was getting him elected anyway. Like they kept doing stuff and it was actually harming him slightly. And they kept thinking that like there was some sort of malevolent force working against them because everything that was happening was telling them that, you know, there's no way this man is going to get elected to president. And somehow he gets elected anyway. There's like this concept that maybe there's some sort of an anomaly around that, but it's not really delved into too deeply. It's just kind of left hanging for a particular reason. The idea is that it's a fun plot point. Like, is it anomalous or is the world really just that fucked? <laughs> and and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, along with, I believe, a bunch of other. Uh, yeah. I be- yeah. A bunch of other people who are also wizards like fight back and eventually seal old Gorman away. (laughs) But if you didn't know it, I'm telling you now, Donald Trump, I guess, technically is an SCP because it's SCP 5004-A and then SCP 5004-B. He's technically not the core anomaly. It's like a group designation, which happens sometimes. But I, I guess it's fair to call him an SCP in this instance. But yeah. That's the story of what happened with old Gorman and Donald J. Trump. I just, uh, I couldn't get my mind on anything else. So I figured at least I'd have a little bit of fun with one of the, with a, what is a very fun SCP article, uh, and do a video about that today. (sighs) Stay safe out there, guys, especially if you're in the Washington DC area. I know that it's probably, probably over the whole insurrection and rebellion problem that we were having yesterday. Um, But just stay safe out there on the off chance that it's not over. I mean, we don't know that those people went home home. Like they weren't from DC. So they may still be out there waiting to storm something again. And hit the subscribe button, Carl. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Carl. I know you watch my videos and you don't subscribe and that's because you're a jerk. Just hit the subscribe button. That's all I'm asking. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100 and Morgan who has pledged at $40. It is especially in days like today. Nice to know that I'm not alone out here and I will see you all again on Tuesday, hopefully in a better mood. <laughs>